All right, so we got a little project here today. Uh, we got a stripper header. As you can see, the cross auger is not straight. I'll show you why. Uh, they hit something, but it jammed up the tube and ripped a big hole in it. Uh, so I started cutting on it. We're just getting it. The flighting's still together, so I cut it down here. I'm just gonna try and rotate this thing so I can get get it cut in another decent area to make it easy to work on. There's nothing easy about this. It sucks, but we're gonna do it. Uh, harvest is among us, and I, I fix lots of stuff like this, so this will be fun. So we got it rotated around. As you can see, we got a god dang mess here. Uh, flighting is pretty well junk but we're gonna straighten it all out but I got a new tube to replace what's bent and broken so essentially I just got to get this cut so that I can get it get the new tube in here uh, I would almost suspect I'd find the rock in here but I think it might have got pulled out but we'll see what we can do okay so we got it turned up as you can see everything's bent but it's in a position now that i can get the flighting cut off of it and we can start to line this thing back up and figure out what size of piece we're going to put back in here so i'm going to do that and it's hard to record while i'm in here i gotta watch all this chaff in here guys gotta watch for fires so i'll just kind of show you as i go all right so we got this thing cut up it's not perfectly square it's pretty square but uh yeah came out in a bunch of pieces so i'm gonna clear out some of this chaff that's gonna start a fire under me and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take uh one by one square tubing and put on the inside and clamp it to both and weld it on the inside so then that'll give it some support here but it should also line the tubes up because it's kind of hard to get this 100 percent square like true so that's kind of what we're up to and then we'll put our two halves on it weld it out and then try to fix the flighting so that's where we're at this is not fun okay so after some investigating and a bunch of stuff getting cut out of this thing we found that down there there's an adjustment uh block that was way out of adjustment because i got this re-sleeved here i gotta i still gotta weld it out but i mean i couldn't get this thing to rotate all the way around it was like it was jamming up so we got it adjusted it might have a little bit of a whoop in it but this thing's taking a few rocks, so it's uh, not all on me, but yeah. So we'll weld this out and then we're gonna build some flighting for it. Get that all put back on there. I don't have this blue, blue paint. So we'll probably throw some green on it or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's been a day. It's pretty cramped in there. It's not much fun. I'm not feeling the greatest. I don't know, I feel like I got a cold or something, but uh, so yeah, crawling in and out of here and well, you can see all these fingers in there. It wasn't much fun to be laying on those, but we're just about there. We're in the home stretch. Ah, yeah, so we're about halfway welding the tube out and it's not fun at all, but it's my life. So we got we're just going around welding it going around welding it and then we'll put the flighting on and call her good uh, it's day two guys um we put in well, almost a full day on this yesterday there was a bunch of stuff that just kind of was working against us um i think we we got it as straight as we can but uh so yeah. it's all welded in now so now I gotta fix all this mess, straighten out the flighting, 
and we'll get the flighting put on it. I'll call a customer to come over and run this thing and hopefully it's it's running true ish. Uh, this thing's taking some rocks so it might not be like there might be other bends in this tube too we don't know but yeah it's uh it's been a fun job i love being stuffed inside of a, a header it's it's fun uh, said no one ever oh uh, this is one of the pieces basically just gonna cut this off because it's still in good shape it just from where it tore we'll straighten it out get it welded back on to the header and go from there Okay, hey, well, we got her as done as it's gonna get. <laughs> I mean, it don't look nice, but it looks pretty straight in there. It doesn't have to look nice. This comes down over top of it, so you won't see it. But uh, yeah, customer's on his way. I don't know how to run all this, these new machines. So he's gonna come fire this up. We're just gonna check make sure that if there is a wobble it's a manageable wobble because <laughs> i mean the thing was broken half and it's pretty beat up so we'll see it's not fun crawling in and out of that thing and like i'm not 20 anymore so i don't bend how i used to bend <laughs> And then everything that's chewed up is razor sharp, but whatever. Is what it is. We got her. And I have to cha change my uh, welding company name to No Way Welding because some of this stuff I should be saying, no way, I ain't doing that, but we fix her anyways. But that tube is worth $9,000. So uh, for two days of my time, it saved them. A pile of money so but I mean this thing's pretty beat up like it's taken a few rocks so we'll see I'm hoping it, it's good we got it adjusted on the other end to where I feel it should be it's not rubbing anywhere so yeah okay we got the customer here I'm gonna see how this thing goes Fingers Well guys, we nailed it. <laughs> guys, she's running good. Uh, the tube does have a whoop in it, but we figure it's in the middle. Right at the feeder house, and it doesn't run very fast, so um, he's super happy. I'm happy, I've been stressing about it, whether or not we were gonna have that thing straight, so. Um, yeah, another one done. Uh, I got a helper here today. We're doing some anchors, other stuff here. So I gotta get back to work, but like and subscribe guys. We're gonna, yeah, this, we're gonna have welding. We're gonna have derby and we're gonna have lots of stuff on the channel. So um, we got, we got a derby we're going to here in a couple weeks. So uh, we got that build. All that build is going to be documented for you guys too. So thanks guys. 